the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Welcome back to another episode of Happy Mondays, where we begin our week on a positive note so the rest of the week can go by smoothly. The topic for this week is give thanks to the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord. First Chronicles chapter 16, verse 34. Now, this week is our favorite week. Why? Because it's our favorite holiday, Thanksgiving. Now, I know what you're thinking. Thanksgiving, the period where we get to eat shuttle because it's fasting season, you know, no taki. I don't, I don't like the rules. But it's the, also the time where we get around family, we're surrounded with those who we love, and yes, there's still feast, and we get to celebrate, and this is also the time where we think about the things that God has blessed us with. It's the time of thanksgiving. We're giving thanks, but not just to each other, but to God for He's blessed us in ways that we can't even imagine. And thus, we ponder on the words of King David, give thanks to the Lord. And yes, it is King David who said these words. And now, those of you who know me know, I love King David and I love him not just because he has my name, but because he's done amazing things in the period where he was in this world. In his lifetime, he's accomplished things that 10, 20, 30 people couldn't accomplish. He's done it on his own. Now, when we think of King David, most of us think about, oh yeah, that guy who did something with Goliath, the giant. Or yeah, he was a king. Or or yeah, the Psalter guy. But the thing that really cemented his place in history is his ability to move the Ark of the Covenant into the city of Jerusalem. This was a very critical part in history. Why? Because the minute the Ark of the Covenant came into Jerusalem, Jerusalem became the center for trade and, 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 and all sorts of things. And people across the world from all over the world were coming into Jerusalem to see this Ark of the Covenant. So it became a, a central location. So what David did was historical, was amazing for this, at this period, because it was a great accomplishment, he stands before the throne and doesn't boast. It's not like, look, I did amazing things, but he takes time to thank his creator for giving him the talents and the ability to accomplish this great deed. The lesson to take away from the story of David is, God who created David also created us. God who has blessed King David with all these blessings and all these talents to accomplish all the things that he's accomplished in his life, has also given us individual, unique talents. Each one of you are special. Each one of you have been given a talent from God. This is the blessing that we should be thankful for. But the question is, what have we done with the blessings and talents that he's given us? Let us not squander it. Let us use it in a positive light. Let this week be a reflection of us saying, where is my life going? Am I the best version of myself? Am I accomplishing all the things that I need to accomplish? And as we're processing these things, let's also take time to thank God for all the blessings that he's d done for us. Let us see the positive things that we have in our life. And for this, we simply say, give thanks to the Lord. The goal for this week is to ask yourself, are you the best version of yourself? And also to take time to praise God for all the blessings that he's given you. Give thanks. To the Lord.